when Prusa released its enclosure for the XL, it included new idler parts made of polycarbonate carbon fiber, not PET-G. So, so these are the parts. This is the fan shroud. These are the two levers. This is the nut. And these two pieces make up the swivel. Those are the new parts to replace the idler parts that are made of PET-G. And we're going to do that. First thing we do is unload the filament, and I've done that. Here it comes. We're going to take this out, and there's the filament out of there. We're going to disconnect this connecting rod, this connecting band, and then release this cable to the, to the extruder. So we're going to release the extruder, bring it down here. release the electronics, and then we're going to take off this cable strap. The cable strap's held on with this Torx. We're going to loosen those two screws, shift the band off, and now we've got the extruder that we can fix. We can replace all of those idler parts. We can replace the fan shroud. We can take care of all that. Let's go to the bench. Okay, we've got the entire extruder on the bench. First thing I'm going to loosen these idler screws because they're threaded into this, quote, nut on the idler arm. So we'll back those off. And then this piece will just come off. Should. Back them out equally. And they'll stay, they'll stay in place. There we go. So now we've got the nut and the lever, and now we need to take off this important idler arm. And if you have four, and if you've got four screws on your cover, just take off the fourth one. I don't. I need to take. I need to loosen one and take two out. Oh, and by the way, I printed this dwarf board cover with an opening here that allows me to access those tension screws. So we're going to take these two screws out, save them, do not get rid of them, and rotate the cover out of the way. And then under here is a 1.5 millimeter hex, which we're going to, we're going to uh, loosen. So 1.5 millimeter, we're going to loosen it until this piece comes out. And there it is. So I've got a 5.5 millimeter box end wrench and a T10 Torx. We're going to take off the first screw that holds the quote nut on. Save the hardware, toss the nut. So there's the nut. There's, there, there's the lock, wash, lock nut anyway. So this is the old one. I'm going to put that aside, and we have the new one. Now we're going to take the two arms that we've made, and we're going to put the screw through there. Sometimes we need to open up that hole. That's a three millimeter hole. All right, we open the hole up. Now this goes through the nut. Don't open these up. Those two holes are threaded. first step completed. We'll just tighten this up a little bit, but remember it has to move pretty freely. Now we'll take the second piece off which has this important metal cylinder. There it is. 
So open it up. Got to open those holes again, three millimeter drill bit. Put the cylinder on, very important. So here we have the new nut and swivel with that important sleeve there. We'll tighten these appropriately so they're, they're tight but have some good motion. All right, now we're going to address the this arm. It has one screw that's a 2.5 millimeter, so we'll take that out. Little guy. And then this, this is just a pin which comes out. And then this separates, and there are two um, small like axles and then these two bearings so we're going to have the mirror image the new one and i got to be sure that i don't mix these up although they look different the polycarbonate is is dull the uh, carbon reinforced whereas the pet g is shiny so it's pretty pretty easy to see the difference so first thing we're going to put that that bar in there and then we'll put these two pins. Okay, we'll need to open up this end hole for that bar. It's a four millimeter, so it's a four millimeter drill. Just be sure we got enough clearance. Okay, that's good. Then we can put that bar in there. That fits in there great. And then these little axles are three millimeters. Okay, so I got the that sliding bar. Got these little two axles. Got the bearings, which look nice. There they are. Let's get that all lined up. You might want to drill the hole for that that um, sleeve went with both pieces together because then you line it up perfectly and it fits great. And now we'll put the final screw in here. And there she goes. Threading right into that tight. That looks really good. So there are our new two pieces. Be sure we keep that metal sleeve in there. That 1.5 millimeter threaded. There that goes. And this sticks out, so don't tighten it too much. There we go. Boy, that is nice. That is moving in there great, and I can feel it hitting that. And so now we'll just put on, quote, the nut, and that fits over like that. These two screws. They they're thread they thread into this nut. There it goes two, and then you tighten the you put the screw such that it just sticks out this other end of this. So I'll tighten it up till we see that. There we go, and have both screws at the same level, so they're equal.
So they're just coming out of the end of the nut and then this will fit down and clamp. Boy, that's nice and tight. That's great. There it is. So put our two, we'll lift this up and over. And then get our neck, get our two screws back in here. And then replace our fan shroud. So tighten all those up. And then this is our new fan shroud. Takes 2.5 millimeter. No, it takes a Torx T10. Two machine screws. Old fan shroud, new fan shroud. Snug nut tight. Great, got our new fan shroud, got our idler pieces, We're ready to bring it back and start printing with it. Okay, let's put our let's put our extruder back together. First thing, the most delicate is the elect electrical cable. We'll snap that in. That went in and well. Then we'll put our retaining strap in. Secure that. Here's our retaining strap, we'll put that in. So we'll put our retaining strap in. That's a T10. And then load our filament. So I snipped off the end. Now I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to close that. That's nice. That is way tighter now with this PC carbon fiber than with the existing pet G. It, this is going to be great. This was a, a recognized error on Prusa's part that this that the material for the idler pieces needed to be much more heat resistant, especially in an enclosure like this. So I'm very excited and optimistic that this is going to go well. So I just loaded Pet G, it purged really well. So far, so good. So this is how easy it is to close this lever right now. This is the Pet G. And when I changed it to the PC carbon fiber, it's dramatically stronger. Let's take a look. Okay, this one is now the polycarbonate carbon fiber and just Man, it's a lot tighter and a lot stronger pushing those rollers against the filament, which is against the drive gear. That's why this is going to really work better. So if you found this video helpful, please click thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Thank you very much.